You want to show the camera? Say, look, there you are. There you are. Just say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Say, look at my glasses. Classic. Say, subscribe to mommy's channel. Channel. Yeah, that works. <laughs> channel. Channel. Sing, so, you say, subscribe. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Say, subscribe. Subscribe. To? To? Mommy's? Mommy's? Channel. Channel. Yay! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jackie, and if you're not new, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I wanted to sit down and do a sit down. I wanted to do a sit down video with you guys, but life got in the way. It's a very busy day in the Penny household. Um, so we're just gonna do it vlog style. So if you wanna see what I got in this Sephora haul, little baby Sephora haul, and rules on how to enter the giveaway, Stay tuned. So I didn't get much from the 20% off sale. I literally just got a couple repurchases and then a couple new things because I couldn't say no. So um, repurchase is this guy right here. Um, this scent, there's just something about it. I'm so obsessed with it. Um, I hate spending $25 on a body wash because I, I mean, I don't think that it does anything special. Um, it's definitely moisturizing, but I'm paying for the scent for sure. So another repurchase is this um, Ola Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. This stuff, you guys, has these little beads in it. Um, and it has this cooling feeling when you put it on. And I really just feel like it does a good job exfoliating my skin so um definitely something i'm always going to continue to buy it's definitely my favorite exfoliant that i have tried to date um and then something new that i'm excited to try is this the ordinary um aha and bha peeling solution i can't remember what YouTuber told me about this. Um, I think it might have been Whitney Hedrick. So this right here is supposed to do the same thing that my Drunk Elephant Baby Facial Mask does. And that mask is $80, whereas this one was $7.99. Um, I like their packaging. It's like just the aesthetic is like super pleasing. So it does come in like a little dropper. Um, it kind of, is it red? Like it looks like blood. It's crazy. Hold on. There we go. Okay, I set you down for a second. So, um, like I was saying, this guy right here is 30% AHA and 2% BHA, which is actually more than the Drunk Elephant when it comes to percentage percentages. But I love that it's like in this little dropper. Oh, hello, focus. It's probably not gonna focus, but it's in this little eyedropper and it kind of looks like blood can you see that that's kind of cool so i'm gonna be excited put a little bit on my hand um to try this out but i just put a tiny bit on my hand it definitely looks like blood that's kind of cool doesn't have a scent to it or anything i probably need to wash that off um so yeah so if this does the same thing as my drunk elephant that would be amazing because that would save me like 80 dollars <laughs> so i will definitely let you know what i think about this um, in an update or something like that or in another vlog. Um, okay, so I did purchase some more products from Charlotte Tilbury. Just her brand all around is one of my favorites and I just feel like if you have 20% off, take advantage, girl, um, and get products that, get products that you know you love and that's what I kind of like to do with the 20% off, um, is restock on products that I know I love and use whereas just splurge on a bunch of products that I may not like and then not use you know so um Whitney Hedrick she's awesome she has a whole series about how to be better about spending your money on makeup and how to save and I'll uh, I'll link her channel down below but she honestly like talks some sense into me because I swear my original Sephora car order was like $350 and then she put out this video and I'm like, I don't, I don't need, do I need any of these things? No. Do I want? Yes. The 
facial scrub and the body wash I know I need because they're something that I use 24 seven. So anyways, her, her video is great. She'll knock some sense into you about spending your money. If I added up all the makeup that I have, it would probably honestly make me sick to my stomach. So maybe if you guys wanna see that video, like a collection video, and then kind of like adding everything up, I'll do it. Let me know if you wanna see that. Um, anyways, back to the products. So I picked up a lip liner. Um, the only other one that I have from her is Iconic Nude, and that is like hands down my all-time favorite shade. I picked up the shade Foxy Brown. Um, and so her lip liners are like that perfect mixture of like creamy, but like still stiff enough to where they're not gonna budge and slide and they really do last a long time. So this is the shade right here. Um, it's just a true brown with kind of a cool undertone and I've kind of been liking the darker outline and then the you know lighter on the inside kind of the Kim K vibes so I'm excited for this I picked up the a Charlotte Tilbury kissing lipstick in honey Hepburn every time I go into the Sephora store it's always sold out and I'm like I always want it um so I picked it up during the sale. I love her packaging. Everything is just so aesthetically pleasing. This shade though, can we just talk about that? Like, oh, uh, so, so pretty. Um, I'll swatch this for you as well. Is this a matte or is this a kit? No, this is a kissing. Um, so it has a magnetic enclosure, so this shade is definitely a little bit deeper than the, um, the Charlotte Tilbury one that I got. Um, this is in the shade 33NP Noah, so I think the range, um, let me pull some stuff up real quick. So her lipsticks come in different undertones, so there's beige undertones, neutral undertones, pink undertones and neutral pink undertones. So Noah is a neutral pink undertone, which I didn't, I don't think I knew that when I bought it. Normally I don't go for pinky nudes, but um, I'm curious to see if this one pulls off more pink. This is literally on her site just to show you what it looks like, but there are different ranges um, which I think is a really cool concept because it breaks it down to what would look best on your type of skin tone. Um, so let me swatch this for you. It's just so pretty. I hate swatching it, but. So it definitely, you can see, has a pink undertone. Um, it almost reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria. Hold on. Hmm. So I, def I just swatched Very Victoria next to it. So this is Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria. This is Natasha Denona's Noah. Um, so they're definitely similar. Noah is definitely more of a nude, um, whereas Very Victoria is definitely more of a mauve-y um, color. So I'm thinking like what lip liner would look good with this. Um, I'm just gonna put it on my lips because I'm curious to see how she looks. So let's just bear with me. Um, my lips are like, kind of peeling right now but so this is what it looks like I love the color it's definitely giving me Too Faced Sex on the Peach vibes um, so I had to go swatch it so this is Too Faced Sex on the Peach and this is Natasha Denona's Noah so <laughs> I guess I just have a thing for those kind of mauve neutral nudes clearly because i own so freaking many of them um but the formula on this guy it's super creamy it gives me jaclyn hill vibes like completely but not as creamy as those ones were god my lip is really jacked up 
um it gives me those vibes it's definitely super comfortable i didn't put a lip liner on and i kind of like don't hate that i don't have a lip liner so which is what i love about my Too faced ones like i can just throw them in my bag i don't have to worry about having a lip liner i can just put them on and go and they go on good they look good they feel good um so i guarantee i'll be picking up more I need to like go in with a swatch of all the nudes on my arms and then swatch new ones and be like, okay, you have something like this. You don't need another one like this, but I just gravitate. Do you guys ever have that problem where you just gravitate towards a certain type and you're like, oh, that looks so pretty. And then you get home and you're like, wow, I have five shades that look like this. <laughs> That's so great. Um, Anyways, let's get to the important part of this video, which you've probably been waiting for now that I've been rambling on, and that is the giveaway. So we finally hit 500 subscribers, you guys. Oh, it means the world. It's taken me over a year to get here. I know I haven't been the most consistent in uploading because life, <laughs> um, but I am trying to do better. I just, I really enjoy doing this. Um, so to thank you guys, I'm going to do a little give back to you. I'll insert a picture of the giveaway right here, um, of all of the items that are going to go in to the giveaway. It's just stuff that I've accumulated, um, a bunch of goodies, makeup, um, skincare, eyelashes, all that jazz. And the only rule is you have to be subscribed to my channel and leave me a comment um, with your email or Instagram handle so I can get a hold of you if you are the winner and then um, Comment your favorite nude lipstick of all time. I'd love to know what your go-to nude is um, So yeah, that's it US participants only. I'm sorry. I can't ship internationally right now I will leave the giveaway open for one week so one week from the day that this video goes up, I will email the winner and contact you guys. As always, you guys, I'm having so much fun. Click it, like it, love it, watch it, follow me on my journey. Um, let's get to a thousand. How cool would that be? Then I can start monetizing my videos. <laughs> let's get to a thousand subscribers, you guys. Um, yeah, that's it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.